in the shade. Yes, I know. It's great. It's so, it's so, it's so good. Not that I'm licking your ass or anything, but it's, can I say that on the air? Can I say ass? If you were licking anyway, my ass, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to understand what you were saying. True, and it would, okay, so it was worth the two years. Yeah, and let me tell you something, a little trivia. You know how hard it was to get Gene to hold still for the photograph of that cover? Really? Yes. Really? That's Gene, uh... <laughs> I've seen in the morning with his sunglasses the, uh, on. The, the Sphinx on the cover? That, that's, that's Gene? Yes. Damn. Just kidding, Gene. Okay, so moving right along. Um, actually, this album went like really, really fast. By really? The, we went in the studio in June, mid-June, mm -hmm. and we were done probably, I don't know, sometime in early August. We were actually done with the recording of it. And then, you know, the dubs and the mixing usually drag things out, but we get done really fast, four, four months at the most, and we're done. Was it fun? Yeah. You know, they're always work. You know, sometimes it's fun, sometimes you fight, and sometimes you disagree about things, but that's just part of a of, uh, creative process, you know? How did you convince them to put on one of your songs, finally, one of your vocals? Well, I, I locked myself in the bathroom, and I refused <laughs> to come out, and I said, look, I'm not going to play the drums unless you let me sing something. They said, okay, here. No, actually, the, the way it happened is that I brought three really, really good songs to the band in April when I went out to L.A., a uh, really killer ballad that I had called Somebody's Waiting, but we had uh, Forever which was like so super, you know, that we decided to go with that one. But Little Caesar was a rhythm track that I had done at home, just goofing around, you know. I let Gene hear it. There was no vocal on it. It was just a drums, bass, and guitar on it. And uh, I didn't think he would ever, you know, think it was anything. And he loved it. So Bruce and I went into the studio where we did the album, Fortress, and we cut a 24-track demo. I played the drums and bass on it. Bruce did all the guitars. He did his lead guitar part, like one or two passes, and he was done because it was a demo. Um, and then the song sat for a couple of months until we finally came up with some lyrics, you know, that worked for it. And uh, so a little bit of Kiss trivia is that the track that is on the album is the actual demo. Oh, oh It's wow. a demo. And it's just me and Bruce playing. And it sounds great. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, it just, it kind of like happened, you know, because we weren't trying to make it perfect. So it was exciting and it happened. We decided if we try to recut it, it'll never be as good. So we left it. <laughs> 